You can sit here if you want to. What's up guys? Welcome to our first day of sharing a car. It's gone pretty well. CV got out early. So hi Hux. Hello, Millieville. Excuse me. Please don't claw my hand to smithereens while I'm trying to vlog. CV's getting dinner to a place where we can set it and forget it for a second. I went to the Goodwill after work. And my Goodwill is like kind of different. Well, one of the Goodwills I go to. You know I'm a frequent flyer. But they don't do like the tag sales. Pretty much every other Goodwill I go to has like a blue tags are on sale today, green tags are on sale today. This one doesn't do that. It's like they just wake up in the morning and, <gasps> and just like that, he's gone. Why do you crave violence so? Why do you crave violence, my child? What was I saying? Oh, the sales. It's like they just decide what they want to put on sale that day. And sometimes they do 10 for 10. So you can do any 10 clothing items for $10, but you have to get 10. That's the catch. I've done this before. There's a video. I think my most successful video ever is called I Overthrifted and that was a 10 for 10 sale. I think I just put a cat hair like right up my nose. I think this is on par with the I Overthrifted video. I would say I have 20 items in this bag and I paid a dollar for each one of them. But you kind of had to because if you didn't get the 10 items, then... Yeah, so here's the thing about the 10 for 10 is that I, I'm, my whole face is cat hair. Yeah. I'm a person made of cat hair right now. There are like 15 items, I think I said, that I was like pretty jazzed about and like five that I was like, well, if I don't get 10, they won't be a dollar a piece. They'll be like three to $4 a piece. So uh, it was cheaper to buy more stuff than it was to only get the stuff I was crazy about. There are a couple things in here too. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. Uh, if not, and I got you. <laughs> but Steve hasn't seen any of this yet. Ooh. Not a bit, not to pee. I'm excited. There's one whole item in here for you. Woo! I tried. It just, it wasn't Steve's day at the thrift store. Last time I was at that Goodwill, it was more of your day than it was mine, so. Yeah, I remember you got mm -hmm. me that sweater. Are you sure dinner's fine while we film this? Yeah, I have a timer on it. Okay, sweet, nice. I like your style. That's what I'm gonna show you guys, and Steven, because you haven't seen it. Oh, mm, cheers, sophisticated mm -hmm. people. Oh, pinky. Mm, yes, quite. What I got at the Goodwill, it's <laughs> so ritzy. Like, this is my trash bag of stuff from the Goodwill. This is my $3 Aldi bottle of wine. Nothing but the finest here. We're gonna like mystery bag this. First item is this denim vest from Old Navy. Ooh. Yeah, I thought this would be fun to like pin and patch up. I have a denim vest that I don't wanna pin and patch up. So I like the idea of having two of those things. So one you can like completely customize however you want. And then the other one, the other one stays clean. Is this purple or blue? I think it looks, it looks blue on camera, but it looks purple in person. Whatever color you guys think this is, that's what it is. Whatever you believe in your heart. It's magenta. It's not magenta, but it's this like kind of pleated like broomstick fabric tank top. This is for Steven. He loves a Hawaiian shirt. I do love Hawaiian shirts. And I found this blue one with Ooh. the flowers on the bottom. That looks cool. Yeah, so here, Merry Christmas. Here you go. Happy birthday. And while you check that out, here's a SpongeBob tank top I found. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited about. Is that your SpongeBob laugh? Stop because it was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> that's, that's a goat. You wanna go jellyfishing? <laughs> got this blue shirt that honestly I got for Ren Fest because look, it's like so lightweight. And it's got this nice like frilly sleeve. Yeah. Like this will be good for the hot days oh, yeah. at the Renaissance Festival. Does it fit? Yeah, oddly. It it fits oddly? Explain yourself. I don't know how to describe this. Sit down I'm... and show the class. Tell us your troubles. So it fits, right? Mm hmm Until I start to try and close my arms. And then it feels like it's gonna tear apart in the back. But it fits. It hangs on my shoulders until I move my arm. And then I move my arm and everything like move. Well, you just don't move your arm then. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of what it is. You see how it like, in order to get my arms to like move freely, like 
You were doing a lot of flailing. But it fits nice. <laughs> but it fits nice. I just can't move. <laughs> You're checking on dinner? Is that what's happening? Okay. I got this lemon tank top. Oh, pretty. This still has the tags on it too. It's like purple with little lemons on it. Oh, you know I love a sequin. A blue sequin shirt. <laughs> it's like not cute. It's not a cute shirt, but it's blue, which is my favorite color. And it's sequin. So I'm gonna make this work somehow. It's ugly. I think Jess will love it. Yeah, <laughs> I do like ugly clothes. Oh, we got this little kimono. This is one, uh, this might go to Ann. I'm not sure if this is gonna fit or not. I feel like the sizing for kimonos are very like forgiving, kind of a one size fits all for the most part. So I think this is gonna fit just fine. Um, but here's the, the fabric on it, very tropical. A lot of this stuff is like kind of tropical summer vibes. <laughs> I found this old lady striped shirt that I think will be cute, like tucked into some high-waisted jeans. The shirt is one that I like wasn't as excited about, but again, it was a dollar and I like had to get it. If I wanted the deal on the other things, like it just, it made more sense to buy 10. And it's not that I don't think this is cute. I actually think this pattern is very cute. And again, we're on a tropical kick. But it's one of those shirts that like doesn't have like the sewn hem really in it. Does this like foldy thing. So when it hangs or when you wear it, like this middle part folds out. See what I'm saying? That's not my favorite, but it's like really lightweight and it's pretty. So for a dollar, I'll deal with it. This I got for work. I am allowed to wear shirts of the alcohol that we carry and we carry Shiner. So I found this Shiner beer shirt. I'm very excited about actually. I found a pair of orange athletic shorts. I found this skirt. It's like a pencil style skirt. It's very colorful. I think this will be fun with like a graphic tee. Like maybe one of my superhero or Star Wars t-shirts would be cute with this. Oh, hi. <laughs> Steve's like watching from the, <laughs> from the kitchen I now. Star Wars style shirt. Maybe. Oh, it's not Star Wars style. It's just I like this is this, this skirt. And I said, I think it would be good with like a graphic tee, like one of my Star Wars or like Marvel shirts, like maybe knotted. That's all. I didn't find any like actual fandom stuff today. Or like bounding stuff. Um, oh yeah, I found some stuff I can bound with for sure. This is a bounding piece, a thousand percent. It's just a tan shirt, but I really liked this camel color. Found some Halloween. I can't resist a jack-o'-lantern shirt. Can't ever have too many. Good for year round, I say. Oh, love, this is the shirt I need to be wearing with these pants. I found this tie-dyed Orlando <laughs> tank top. <laughs> I'm wearing my tie-dyed pants today. And so this could be, this could be a whole look. I've never been to Orlando. We'll go one day, I'll take you to Orlando. The other tank top I found in the men's section is this, I think it's Aeropostale, and it's got little birds all over it. This is a very basic, boring, although a nice material, like it's soft and stretchy. It's just a yellow tank top. It still has a tags on. This was a filler item. I'll probably wear this, honestly, more than anything else, because I bet I sleep in it. This aqua color cami, it's kind of boxy, a little more cropped. I think this'll be really cute, perhaps styled with a kimono. And the last thing I got, it's from Target, because I think it's Wild Fable, and it's this like waffle material, kind of like a thermal style shirt. It's got the buttons, a little tie, kind of like a, not really a dolman sleeve. I don't know, it's, this is a little boxier fit. I think this will be really cute. So everything was a dollar. I feel like that was a good thrift situation. And Steve was supposed to be with me for this whole thing. What happened to you? What happened? Where did you go? What I'm happened? Dinner. dinner. All right, well, here. Is the camera on you? No. Move the camera so it's so it's on you. You ready, Steven? I'm ready. Here's what you missed. That shirt? Well, this looks like it'll fit me. Thank you. Okay. Ready this shirt? Ooh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> this one? Ooh la la. Look at you. This shirt? <laughs> it's kinda like my Hawaiian shirt with the uh with the Fula girls. Yeah. But there's birds. The shirt? That'll probably fit you. Yeah, this will fit me. Wear that with that. Wear those shorts. Ooh, yeah. That. Look at this. Are you going to see all my shorts? Maybe. <laughs> I found this for work. I'm really excited about it. Shiner beers. Hey, you like Shiner. Cheer. I love Shiner. That shirt. 
Hey, this goes with my Hawaiian one. <laughs> this shirt? Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. It's kind of the filler though, huh? No, actually I like that one. The yellow is the filler. And this one. <laughs> you can do it. It's a kimono. Ooh la la, 99. This is me now wishing I would have said nothing about these clothes and just had Steven do the entire haul. That's how that should have gone. Um, so yeah, I guess the consensus is that- I was attacked. Uh, we have a very it violent a, kitten on our hands. It that was we, a drive by kitty. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow because we gotta take care of that situation. Yeah. Bye.